Hello and welcome to the Sutton Anatomy Hub video on the male and female deep perineal pouches. Let's start off with a quick sketch, drawing out the boundaries and borders of the perineum as seen from an inferior view. We can start off by labelling the pubic symphysis at the top, that is the joining of the two pubic bones on either side at the midline. Running down from there is a bar of bone on either side called the ischiopubic ramus. That meets with a prominent landmark called the ischial tuberosity and the ischial tuberosity on either side meets with the tip of the sacrum, the coccyx, via a ligament called the sacrotuberous ligament. This creates a diamond shaped space of the perineum and this diamond shaped space is the shape of the pelvic outlet. It can be converted into two triangles by drawing an imaginary line across the position of the two ischial tuberosities. That gives us an anterior triangle and a posterior triangle. Let's deal with the posterior triangle first. We're not going to dwell on that today. It's called the anal triangle. It contains an opening for the anus, the anal aperture, and is surrounded by an external anal sphincter. Either side of the anal opening are two gutter or wedge-shaped spaces called the ischioanal fossae, and they contain fat. We're interested in the anterior triangle called the urogenital triangle and this has a membrane stretching across it called the perineal membrane. Now everything attaching to the perineal membrane superficially, such as the erectile tissue and associated skeletal muscle, is considered to be within the superficial perineal pouch. We're interested in the, in the deep perineal pouch, which lies the other side of the perineal membrane closer to the pelvic floor. We've got a perineal body in the middle in light blue and running along to join with it is a deep transverse perineal muscle. This is the same as the superficial transverse perineal muscle in the superficial pouch only at a deeper level. We have a hole in the perineal membrane for the urethra and surrounding it we have an external urethral sphincter. We have a couple of glands in the deep perineal space in the male. These are called the bulbo-urethral glands and they secrete mucus into the urethra and that mucus is produced during sexual arousal. The equivalent glands in the female reside in the superficial perineal space and are called the greater vestibular glands. So the male deep perineal pouch is fairly straightforward, not an awful lot going on. You'll find that the female deep perineal pouch is a little bit more elaborate. First of all, we've got the perineal membrane that is pierced by both a space for the vagina and the urethra. We've got that central perineal body and running along we have similar structures so let's deal with those identical structures first the deep transverse perineal muscle exactly the same in male and female it's worth pointing out that the perineal body is slightly larger in the female than the male and that's presumably of course to maintain the integrity of the region which is vulnerable because of those two openings the vagina and the anus being close together we have the external urethral sphincter surrounding the urethral opening that's exactly the same as what we'd see in the male. Let's just complete the anatomy of the anal triangle. There's the anal opening, the anal aperture surrounded by an external anal sphincter. But now we want to focus on those structures which are unique to the female deep perineal pouch. They are accessory sphincters. The first one runs over the top of the superior margin of the urethra coming in on with in the color orange and this is called the compressor urethrae muscle. It runs from the ischiopubic ramus on each side and functions as an accessory sphincter of the urethra. The other accessory sphincter goes around both the vagina and the urethra and is called the sphincter urethro vaginalis. It functions as an accessory sphincter of the urethra but also may facilitate closing of the vagina as well. So there you go, that is a comparison of the two deep perineal pouches, the male and female.